I'm not sure. I have to throw hydrogen in here because everyone has to mention it. it was, uh, it's been a lot, hyped a lot. You can take hydrogen and make it with methane or electrolysis. Uh, I would like to counter uh, a little bit about what Richard said about, about hydrogen is there are some uh, very promising thermochemical processes whereby you can produce hydrogen from uh, nuclear uh, heat and you can produce carbon-free uh, uh, hydrogen with fairly high efficiencies. And actually using nuclear energy, the energy efficiency of that process is not such a big thing. I think cars, are, you're not going to see it in, that's my guess. Uh, I, because of the fuel storage issue, you're, I mean, we've already seen demonstration projects with buses and I think trains where you could have an extra car that would actually uh, uh, store the fuel. Although there are issues, so I don't think hydrogen is going to play in, the, in as big a role as uh, electrification and biofuels. So how am I doing the time? Because I'm, I'm almost there. <laughs> so in my opinion, and, and this is where I get into uh, uh, sort of speculation, I think peak oil is going to be more about a shift to low quality resources and synthetic resources rather than a scarcity. I think there, are, there may be above ground reasons why we don't want to access those uh, large uh, uh, fossil fuel resources, mainly climate change, but, but it's not really a true scarcity in that sense. And I don't think it's going out on a limb to say that oil is going to get more expensive. And how expensive depends a lot on how much we access, I think, how, much we, uh, how far we go down the, uh, the fossil fuel, uh, synth synthetic fuel road. Um, and I always joke to my students about buying an oil exchange trade fund as a, as a hedge in your portfolio on uh, peak oil. Uh, and I hope, I think one, one of the, the themes that, that I see coming is that you're going to see a, a, a stronger competing interests between uh, uh, peak oil and climate change. And that, that, the tensions are going to get a lot, a lot worse before they get better. And given the recent, what, the recent events and the fact that Canada and at least nationally in the states, they're not making movements on uh, uh, climate change. I think economy tends to trump environment. I, so I, I see, if I had to make a prediction, I think we're going to go down the heavy oil, coal to liquids, gas to liquids path. Uh, we're going to go pretty far down that road. With the good news story being electrification of the transportation system uh, and uh, the synergy of that with, with biofuels. And hopefully, uh, I mean, the way to go is to you're going to electrify the transportation system, uh, decarbonize the, the, the electricity production through a whole range of, uh, of alternatives. Uh, and so normally I give talk, tons of talks with uh, equations, so it's a bit out of my... Uh, normally there's, there's at least one differential equation in there, but not today, so no equations. <laughs> Thank you very much.